in May of 2020, my landlady in Chiang Mai told me that the city of Chiang Mai had informed her that the property survey was wrong and that the house had to be remodeled. She told me it would be done in three weeks and she would put me up in a nearby hotel and that I could select the fixtures and design the space. So I went for it. The house was too big actually. It had two full bedrooms and two full bathrooms. As you can see, they had to cut off seven meters or 21 feet and you can see the new line of the wall there. I was able to use the front part of the house and tend the garden and live as usual, sleeping just a few doors away. The work crew were all one big family, it turned out, and uh, they lived in my house for three weeks all day, every day, and they worked fast. It was amazing. Here's where they're tearing down the original wall that was behind the property. Just behind the wall is a little ditch, and on the other side is the property on the other side of the street. Both of the pictures on the right show the new brickwork blocking the old door and the new brick wall from the inside with the glass block applied over the top. There's what the tub enclosure looked like on the lower left in the old bathroom. And on the right you can see the uh, new wall on the left and what's left of the old bathroom so that they're demolishing on the right. So they kind of just built it as we went along and said, well, shall we close this or shall we put block here? You know, and, uh, and they'd ask me and I'd say, oh, put more block, more block. Always, I love the glass block. And here's peeking out the area that they closed off, looking out in that little slot. And you're looking at the backyard again. Well, the back of the house, there's the old bathroom over there. <laughs> And there's the new wall. They just left all the debris back there, cleaned out the metal, and left all the broken up concrete, and apparently that's all they need to do to satisfy whatever it is that the city of Chiang Mai needed. We decided at the last minute where the bathtub would go, which side of the room and the toilet and everything. They just kind of stood there and scratched our heads and said, hmm, well, let's do it this way, so. Without OSHA or the problem of building permits, uh, the Thai builders are able to make their design decisions as they go along, kind of like sculptors. And uh, it would have shocked anyone that's in the building industry in the United States to see how they just kind of made it up as they went along and, and just kind of patched things together with chewing gum, as it were. used to be the door was just behind the refrigerator there to the other room. And then this is, was always the door to this room. But now you can see the changes. Bed, still the same bed. Still the same painting on the wall. But... Now I have a beautiful glass brick.
took them 23 days without a day off the landlady bought the mirror Kartik I got to pick out the tile and the glass brick I really love it The old bedroom was okay, but it wasn't interesting like this one is. Under that little rug there, you see that line on the floor? That was the old wall that divided the two rooms. This was a gift also from the landlady. So, there you have it, my new remodeled bathroom and bedroom. Here in Chiang Mai, Thailand, the work was done in June 2020. And we'll just do a little quick look at the garden. Never get enough garden videos. I'm real excited because this orchid that I've had for a year now is getting ready to bloom again.